Medical history taking is a first step in diagnosing cervical stenosis. During this procedure, the doctor asks about symptoms, the start, and the progress of the disease. During a physical examination, the doctor inspects the neck and the nerve function in the legs and arms. X-rays and MRI of the neck enable physicians to see any structures that may be pinching or compressing the spinal cord or the nerves. An electromyogram can help your physician differentiate the source of the pain, whether it is caused by cervical stenosis or any other condition. Please send us your emails to ask at age2b.com. We read every email and every text.